Hey guys, this is George from BBO Poker Tables with an installation tip for your pedestal leg with stretcher. All right, so these things are, are beautiful. These, these things are gorgeous. This is one of our Napa legs, but all of our pedestal legs with stretcher beams work on the same principle. So I just want to give you some tips when you're installing this to make it seamless and easy. All right, so when you're, there's a couple of tips when installing your pedestal leg with stretcher beam. Number one is the different type of bolts. Right, you'll see in your hardware kit, there's two uh, lengths, specific lengths of bolts, one longer one and one short, shorter one. The longer ones, remember, they go into the actual pedestal column. Our longer ones go in for the fact that we want as much uh, security going down into this leg to keep the mounting board secure. Right, Remember, this mounting board is going to take all everybody leaning on it. So you can see the size of these things. These things are beefy, right? And they serve that purpose. So make sure you use the long bolts going down into the column. Now you'll find some shorter bolts and those go up here at the edge of the mounting board up into the playing surface, right? You will know immediately if you use the wrong bolt because it'll start popping up and pushing the surface up. You'll go, whoop, that doesn't make much sense. So then that's when you know that, all right, I might've used the wrong bolt for the wrong hole. All right, but um, if you use the long ones down here, the short ones going up this way, you'd be just fine. Now, whenever you see these holes here, these are where you would put the barrel nut. All right, barrel nut is is a um, is a is a furniture nut that allows for unbelievable strength. That's what they use in uh, beds and in couches, any uh, high end furniture, and that's what also we use. So whenever you see this, you drop the barrel nut in here, and then you just put the screw through the barrel nut. And, and it provides uh, unbelievable strength for your for your pedestal leg with stretcher beam. So another uh, tip when you're putting this together, uh, make sure that you finger tighten everything. Don't tighten while you're going. You tighten everything one time at the end. The reason you do that is there are holes here that must align to the bottom of the table, right? And you want to give yourself a little bit of play to be able to align these holes up. Right, we have uh, people that if they tighten along the way, sometimes these things aren't in alignment because your leg actually is a couple of degrees off, and if the leg's not in alignment, this top is not going to be in alignment with the table. So give yourself uh, some play, right? While you're setting this up, make sure that you're finger tightening it, and at the end, then uh, do one final tightening uh, to lock this thing in place. Tip number two: when you're putting together your pedestal leg. Uh, with a stretcher beam, it's actually ideal to build this with the table upside down. So you put the table dining uh, table playing surface upside down, and you put the legs up upside down. And you start building it upside down, and once you did the final tightening after you put everything in place and everything lines up, then you 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 flip the table right side up. Right, this is where you have a buddy, a friend. Uh, these things are heavy. You can see. The, the size of these pedestals, this, this is heavy, right? So make sure you have at least another friend, maybe two friends, right? Um, and once you've tightened everything, then you flip the whole table uh, right side up and it'll be ready to play. Now, tip number three, three and four, I'm gonna give you two tips at once. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the uh, mounting board here has a cutout and this is for if you have a shuffler, this is where the shuffler goes, right? So we have a custom cut for shufflers, right? So this is, make sure this aligns with where your shuffler is on your table. And if you have USBs, you'll also find notches on the playing, uh, on the mounting board here uh, that is actually our wire run, right? So if you have a USB or anything with uh, wires uh, coming from underneath your table, take the wire, Run it from the outside in through here and into the column. Make sure all wires go through the column and they'll pop out on the bottom here, right? That keeps your table nice and clean, no wire clutter, right? We've designed this to accommodate for uh, power and accessories. So make sure you use these uh, wire runs when you're putting your leg and your table together for a clean and finished look. So by following those three simple steps, you should be uh, easy, quick, and uh, very, very convenient to set up your table uh, quickly so you can get playing.